security. Mm. Uh, secondly, to operate in different areas, especially uh, which are not under the control or properly under the control of government. Uh, situation there is really very difficult, but we cannot operate there uh, due to different reasons. First, the staff security, no one actually wants to go there personally. Uh, there, there are incidents happening every other day. Uh, so that's one of the reasons that no one is bidding to go there. Then <coughs> the success story uh, for Afghanistan currently is that we are working on women education in Afghanistan, uh, which was considered very difficult to work in, in Afghanistan, especially for women education, particularly in rural areas. Uh, what we did that uh, instead of calling them to the schools, uh, we started going to their homes and we st started sending female teachers to their homes, to their uh, village, uh, maybe in some common room we identified and there we started the education and Alhamdulillah in the last two years we educated and uh, got uh, more than 18,000 women who got certificates from the government and they are actually they were actually enrolled in the school but they were not going there or their education was uh, done in, inside their homes. So Alhamdulillah they are educated now. The way forward is uh, Inshallah we will be doing more uh, in, in health and education because health is one of the uh, main component other than education which is very much neglected in Afghanistan. Like uh, I can give you an example of uh, how a doctor is paid by the government. Uh, so no one actually wants to be a doctor there. Although they do study doctor medicine, uh, but the salary they get from uh, the government is less than, uh, you can say, $65 a month. Uh, a proper doctor, so no one actually wants to do any medical practice over there. So m most of them, either if anyone is good, they he actually goes out of Afghanistan, and the ones who were actually the backbenchers or the were not good enough doctors, they are doing their practice over there. So that's it. Uh, your name? Raja Rizwan. Raja Rizwan. Your job? Uh, country director, Islamic League of Afghanistan. Okay, can you give us something about your history? How long have you been work as a material worker? Uh, well, <coughs> I started working uh, with the Islamic League first in 2000, and and I worked with Islamic League for nine years until 2009, mm -hmm. uh, mid 2009. Then I uh, shifted to some other organization like IFRC, then Isha Fiji Council, Care International, Qatar Charity, and then in 2014 I moved back to Islamic League in Haiti as head of mission where I completed the project and then moved to uh, Afghanistan in 2015. Thank you. Jazakallah khair.